have to go into the lingerie. Like, I just, I just can't help it. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So today we are going thrifting, but we are thrifting for an aesthetic slash style. I have done this for a couple different aesthetics if you haven't seen the previous ones. This one has to be one of the most outside of my comfort zone styles and that is the daisy jones and the six aesthetic or daisy jones style kind of that 70s style i've been seeing it a bunch on tiktok pinterest obviously with the show and i gotta be honest i have not seen the show but i did watch the modern girls video breaking it down and also talking about the fashion and so i feel like i'm equipped to an extent i would say the 70s kind of like fashion obviously you know ranges but i think in general is probably my least favorite style if you wear it that's all good i'm not like i don't hate it i just feel like anytime i put the colors or even some of the silhouettes on my body i just don't feel comfortable so this is going to be something different that i have not done before we actually head into the thrift store i'm going to break down what is the Daisy Jones aesthetic? Obviously the style and aesthetic is completely inspired by the TV show Daisy Jones and the Six. Costume designer Denise Wingate says Daisy's style takes inspiration from Stevie Nicks and Linda Ronstadt. Daisy rocks wide leg pants, cowboy boots, lace up crochet tops, penny lane coat, and many other 70s and boho staples. Three people actually collaborated on a collection with the TV series that features all the above styles and staples that I had mentioned and I'd say it's a little bit more like rocker pieces that are kind of mixed in. From what I've seen Daisy's outfits can be more boho but then also has like a little bit of an edge. The nice part about this particular style is it isn't very strict. I think you can either lean more into the bohemian elements or mix rock with 70s style and it doesn't necessarily scream i'm trying to dress like daisy jones aesthetic things i was looking for when i was going thrifting halter tops crochet brown like kind of a warm brown pieces suede but that's kind of what was on my mind as i was going through the clothing and really trying to stick as true to the style that i could and yeah let's now head into the thrift store. All right, so I had kind of made a round. I came into the thrift store and went straight to the jackets because I really, really wanted to find like a penny lane coat. I don't know what I was thinking that I was gonna find it, but I'll just say I did not. I mean, that's just such a rarity, but I am gonna start in the cardigans because I feel like a lot of the sheer chiffon cardigan style, I don't know if that would get it, I don't know, I just want to see. Again, like I said, this is definitely outside of my comfort zone, so I'm trying to pick up stuff that align with the style and aesthetic, but then also stay true to me. Try to find a little bit of balance, but I did find this. I would rather find one in a medium because it is a small, but definitely, definitely aligned. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Not related at all, but look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, the little bunny. Can we get this? But I feel like this isn't like see-through enough. Okay, I see a vision for this. I don't know though. I think I may try it on. I think I'm kind of okay with the cardigans. It's not really a, a like requirement. I just want to see if I can find any. But I think I'm gonna go to the jeans and try to find some white leg -like jeans. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I got my fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, these are some Liz Claiborne classic thick jeans. They are not in a wide leg, but they're really pretty. I just, I just need to, I just need to hold on to them. These ones are originally from Refuge Denim. It's the 90s wide, which I think are a little bit more like a boot cut, whereas I want specifically like that flare. Okay, kind of like this, but not low rise. Okay, they have some really good denim today. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to stop myself since I do have a plan. But even these unique glow jeans, I've never tried unique glow jeans, but they're like this black. Really nice denim actually. These ones are definitely a high rise and wide, but not really the flare. Although, I've been wanting to get some jeans 
to cut into shorts, and I feel like these may be perfect for that. They're just from Old Navy, so they aren't really that like vintage denim necessarily I like, but it's still like a good denim, and I feel like to cut and to make into shorts, I could do with these. <laughs> Okay, these Zara jeans are kind of what I was talking about, but it's like it's like a jenny material, which isn't my favorite. So I don't I don't know. I made it over to the skirts because I felt like I'm kind of okay with the jeans, and I feel like I didn't see that many skirts show up. Number one on like the inspo boards I was looking at, and some on different TikTok outfits. And I do have my white tiered skirt, which I feel like I could use, and my denim skirt. I kind of want to see if there's anything else I would want to add. I actually did really want to find like a brown corduroy velvet skirt, like long. I think that would have been perfect. I have to go into the lingerie. Like I just, I just can't help it. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm now gonna go into dresses. I feel like this thrift with me is actually not going as well as I had hoped it was going to go, but that is okay. We're gonna stay positive. I think I'm gonna go over to the dresses and kind of just try to find some flowy, like I have the silhouettes in my mind, so hopefully I can find that. Okay, this is unrelated, but I found a two-piece pinstripe suit set it is in a size eight and i kind of put the pants up to me and they would be slightly too big so i'm gonna leave it but i just needed to show you it like what what a find what a find see it in the light. It's from Armani Exchange, or at least that's what it says. And I feel like it kind of has those deeper, like, 70s tones, but I don't know if I would wear it outside of the video. So I'm just going to hold on to it for now. This is kind of nice. It's very, it's basically see-through, um, but I feel like it has the idea, kind of those, like, bell sleeves. I feel like a lot of them are, like, the Forever 21 boho coachella like vibe whereas i'm trying to get more a little bit at least to an extent a little bit more of that like 70s and make it not look like it's almost like a costume i don't know if this is me just like i really like this color in velvet or if it could kind of be a part of it i'll just hold on to it like if i could maybe find a top like this like in this pattern i feel like that would be perfect this dress i just know i will never wear again Now time to go through my cart, which actually I found a lot, but a lot of the pieces I'm like, okay, I want like a white flowy shirt. So I grabbed like five different ones to then decide. Found at this white top and I feel like it's gonna be too big on me just with the armpits. Another white top. I see this with like a little lace bralette. I feel like I saw that a lot and I do have a white lace bralette. So I feel like it would actually go pretty perfect. 
but I don't know how much wear I would get out of it after this video. I found these like velvet style pants and they're kind of loose. I saw a lot of pattern pants, so I don't think this actually really goes with it, except for the silhouette, but I do kind of see it with the 70s inspiration. So these ones I think are going to be amazing. I had seen this and I don't know, I just, I felt like it was kind of part of the aesthetic, but I now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, is it actually? Another one of the white tops, I think this one's gonna be a no. It's just, I don't know, I think it has some elements that I do like, but I'm not in love with it. I had seen this and like I said, I there's a lot of little like sheer cardigans that I had picked up. So I wanna see what this one was like. I'm just trying to figure out what top I would wear under it. I mean, it's very outside of my comfort zone. I don't know. This was, again, another one of the white tops. I don't know. I don't think this is... Like, it definitely could be part of it, but I think I'm gonna say no. And another one. I like this one out of all of them, but I feel like it may also not be my size, but it could work. I picked up some shorts, and I'm going to measure them because I saw a lot of like little shorts and I mean these aren't super little or anything. I mean in regards to the length, but like this with that. And it may be slightly too loose, so this one's a maybe, but I feel like I'm just scared about the fit. This has nothing to do with the aesthetic, but it's just these like plaid style pants that I really liked and I want to see if they would fit. Seems like they would be my size. These ones are maybe. Again, not part of this video at all. Okay, this one I still don't know. I just love it so much. And I feel like it does kind of go. Maybe it might just like velvet is 70s in my mind. This one's gonna be a maybe. I had seen this and I don't feel like it's very much part of the aesthetic. But when I went on the Free People Daisy Jones like collection, I did see slip dresses. And so I feel like I could kind of style this in a way that's a little bit more like the aesthetic. The only thing is it does have a lot of like imperfections, so I feel like I shouldn't. Like, I don't know if you can see there's a lot of threads kind of missing stuff. And it's $14. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's damaged. It's $14. As much as I love the color, like I would love this. I would love it if it just was in a better condition. Okay, this is so random. Doesn't have to do with the video, but there was just something about this that I thought was very interesting. And oh, it may be too small though. No. I'd seen this denim dress, and at first I was like, oh yeah, it's probably part of the like aesthetic and style and it's not. I didn't see anything like it in my inspiration. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say now. And I feel like I love denim. I think it's cute, but I just feel like I wouldn't actually wear this normally. This is another one I had picked up and I just feel like it is very fun and interesting, but I don't think it actually is kind of part of the style. So I'm gonna put it back. Kind of same with this. I feel like I picked it up in the beginning when I was like, I don't know, like what am I feeling? And I feel like with the other stuff that I've picked up so far, this one just really, I don't think it's part of it. I did pick up this denim skirt because of this little belt. Like I thought that was so cute. This one's maybe. Okay, these are all of the like sheer cardigans I picked up when I first got here. This black one, I think definitely could be part of it. It is in a 3XL. Oops. So I don't think I'm going to get it. I really don't know out of all three of these or four of these. It is a little small in the arms, but I feel like it could work. And I think it like is super part of the aesthetic. That's everything that's in my cart. I'm so indecisive. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. So I think I'm just gonna go through everything again and try to decide and then put everything back that I am not getting and and I will check out. Already I checked out and I ended up not getting a lot of the pieces I thought I was going to get just because I like took it to the mirror and I was like, honestly, I'm just not feeling it. So I may actually go to Crossroads just because they seem to always have a lot of kind of like boho 70s style, which usually I'm, I'm not really like looking for, but today 
I am. So I may go there just because I feel like I'm good on pants, but tops, I could have done better. Or I mean, I like, I, I got what was available to me at this particular thrift store today. And yeah, I just feel like I'm missing something. So I may go do that. So it has been a couple of days and I'm just gonna say it, this is probably my most like accurate thrifted mystery box aesthetic video that I have done. I am truly proud of myself of all the pieces that I thrifted. I did end up getting some pieces from ThreadUp because there were just certain things that I was like, man, this would just be the icing on the cake of this outfit. And so I was like, you know what? It's still secondhand. So although usually I like to get it all at one thrift store, I did, I guess, cheat in a way, but I feel like with these types of videos, I should maybe start going to multiple thrift stores because it's kind of unrealistic to find everything just in one thrift store, just in general with thrifting. Sometimes you do gotta go to a couple, especially if you're looking for, you know, very specific specific things. So yeah, I did want to do this particular one a little bit different just because there are some pieces that you haven't seen. So I'm actually going to go through all the items that I thrifted and then do the try on portion and like talk through the outfits and all of that to like perfectly, I guess, transform myself into this specific aesthetic. I haven't tried on anything, so I am hoping it does actually fit, but the first piece that I had thrifted were these like flare jeans. They're originally from Zara, and I mean, look at that. I feel like this is exactly what I saw on just different outfits. They ended up being $12.49. Then I got these maroon purple shorts. I just saw Daisy and a lot of shorts, and I feel like shorts just kind of make sense with this style. It is originally from Universal Thread and it was $4.79. One thing I was really trying to find was like white, very flowy tops. And I did end up getting this white kind of square neck peasant blouse. I really like this. I feel like it could even just be a summer staple this year for me in general, but I think also very much goes with the style, especially when it comes to the holes in the top. It is originally from Coco and Jamison and it was $8.99. Then, like I said, I have some pieces from, oops, from ThreadUp. This video is not sponsored by ThreadUp, but they have so many pieces that I just felt like worked perfectly. I got this top. It was $7.99. It's originally from Forever 21. The only thing is I'm a little bit scared about these sleeves being a little bit too loose, but I felt like this was also a top that I would wear just normally, but then also goes along with this aesthetic. I also really, really wanted to find some sort of crochet crop top just because Daisy wears one and I was like, man, this would just be so good. And I ended up coming across this top originally from Kendall and Kylie. I got it for $13.99 on ThreadUp. And I mean, you cannot tell me that is like, this is not part of the style. Like it totally makes sense. Something else I just had my heart set on to try to find is something with fringe. It just, it just made sense. And I saw so many just outfits with it. I usually don't really like fringe. So this is the one that's very outside my comfort zone. It was from Coco and Jasmine and it was $24.99 on ThreadUp. And it's kind of like this soft wannabe suede material. And I mean, again, like, this is, this is so perfect. The last clothing piece, I think maybe a little bit too small, which kind of breaks my heart. So I may end up returning it on ThreadUp, but it is this faux fur jacket, originally from Hollister. I wanted to find a penny lane coat so bad. Like I, I tried, I tried so hard. And when I went to the thrift store, I was like, I'm gonna find it. And I didn't find it. This was as good as it gets to wearing something that goes along with it. It was $28.99 from ThreadUp. The last thing that I ended up getting is this belt. This was another one where I was like, I feel like I need, sorry. 
it's just like flailing everywhere. I felt like I needed to have it for just an added detail. I just, I've never tried one like this, so I felt like this was the time to do it. Okay, let's put together some outfits with these pieces. I think all together, I'm gonna try to create three outfits. Yeah. I am in love with this. This top, I feel like I would not have picked up at the thrift store if I hadn't been doing this video. And I love it so much. It's so breezy. It has a little bit of that puff sleeve that I really like, but in more of a casual summer way. And then the shorts, I feel like they pair so beautifully together. I put some brown boots just cause brown boots, cowboy boots and that kind of thing I saw a lot. And definitely with the colors as well, I saw within this style. I am giving myself a 10 out of 10. Like look at how absolutely adorable this full outfit is. The shorts, I will say, are going up my crotch just a bit. I don't know why, I think they're supposed to be a mid-rise, but like my body is trying to make them high-rise, so that's my only issue, but that's a personal issue. Other than that, amazing. I want to put my suede vest with it because I feel like textures, like I've already kind of said, was really big. This, this is so cute. Is it just me? Am I just like tooting my own horn? Is it actually not that cute? This outfit doesn't hit as much as the last one, but it's not bad. And I think it still makes sense. The pants aren't as like wide length as I originally thought. They're definitely more like a boot cut. So they don't perfectly align with that. Also, I think the color of the denim with then kind of this lighter turquoise color top, it, it's just a little bit off, I think, because blue and blue. But aside from that, I love this top. I want to add a jacket and I think I'm going to go for the faux fur jacket to try it. And also, I just feel like the outfit is missing something. And again, I think that one is kind of like a staple that I'd seen for so many people with this style. I mean, you do then miss the puff sleeve of the top, but I think that's totally fine. You still get the details of the top kind of poking through. And again, I do wish it was like a little bit bigger and maybe longer, but aside from that, I'm still gonna give myself a 10 out of 10. I still think it looks good and is part of the style. This one I think is the most like Daisy Jones and the Six style. Like I could see this on the show, definitely outside of my comfort zone. I don't know if I would style all these pieces together again, but individually, I mean, it's really just the top and then <laughs> this vest. The top I think definitely has a reason to be in my wardrobe. I mean, obviously now I have it, so I'm going to style it. The vest is very, it's it's a lot for me, um, but I actually, I feel like I can style it with my own clothes moving forward. I was very scared that I was like, oh gosh, like this is not me. I'm never gonna wear this again. And I don't hate it, honestly. The belt I feel like works perfectly with the pants. And then I have my cowboy boots, obviously. Definitely could have had wider leg pants. I think definitely in the pants department. I really thought I had it. I was like, wow, I have these pants that are so just like 70s flare. No, they are not. The Zara jeans, they definitely aren't. So that's the only thing I'm quite disappointed about. One thing I do want to do is try my patchwork leather jacket because there was some patchwork, but it was more in like the penny lane coat, but I think mine would still work. No, no, it doesn't work. I really, I really thought this, this was gonna just like make this outfit and it is not. Alrighty, this went way better than how I thought it was gonna go. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be, you know, necessarily wearing this type of style head to toe, but definitely there are gonna be some elements that are gonna be implemented into my style now, which is why I love doing these types of videos. It gets me outside my comfort zone. I try things that I would have never tried if it wasn't for the certain style. And I think overall, these types of videos are my favorite to film because they're fun. Kind of my whole purpose for them is to show that you can find a certain trend or aesthetic that maybe you see other people wearing secondhand. And I think you can 100% if you want to try this style, go to the thrift store. You may have to go to a couple if you want, you know, to create multiple outfits like I did, but I feel like it's a lot more just like, 
I don't know. It's not as like micro trendy. I mean, obviously I'm sure fast fashion brands are going to be, I mean, even free people obviously has, but I feel like this one in particular is way more about vintage second hand and not trying to recreate these outfits a hundred percent but just get inspired and maybe focus on the textures the colors the silhouettes but really have it be a little bit more unique to you so i actually really like this style let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this style also the outfits that i created i think the second outfit was the only outfit that like it needed some help but definitely some winners in this if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time i make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram which is alex and shine 83 i will see you in my next video and i hope you have a super sunny day bye